Oh, hey there, everybody. It's Embrace the Matrix. And we're doing another painting. Yet another wonderful, beautiful, abstract, original creation by the one and only me, Embrace the Matrix. How's everybody doing? Have you had a plentiful and exciting 2016? No? Has it been kind of a roller coaster? Like it has for me. Well, I hope uh, I hope you end on the upswing. I really do. And hey, you know I don't get into the whole uh, resolution, you know, you know, and, and how everybody's now like the hell with you know, 2016. You're taking all these celebrities and da da da. Remember, you know, people get old. People don't take care of themselves, and these things happen. It's not 2016, it's not a year, you can't blame a year, it's just, that's, uh, this is life, life happens, you know, I, I, I firmly believe, try to enjoy every day as best you can, and, um, you know, move forward. This is my second attempt, uh, at this voiceover, I think I did a pretty, pretty, uh, good voiceover yesterday, and I planned on releasing this video yesterday, but, um, no. Uh, I tested, uh, you know, I always test my audio first, and it tested fine, and then I went and did my whole thing. I even got real personal on you guys, and, uh, yeah, it didn't record. So I was kind of bummed. But we're doing it again today, and what is today? Today is Friday the 30th, December 30th, a couple more days left in this year, and then we're moving forward to 2017, the year of the Trump. Who's ready for the year of the Trump? Or years however long he lasts. So, what we have here is a 20 by 20 inch, one and a half inch canvas, ca canvas, canvas, canvas. And yeah, what am I doing to create that awesome looking texture? A Michael shopping bag. Um, I love it. Uh, that's one of my favorite things to create a background texture is a shopping bag. Yep, just that simple. Put your paint on and then grab your old Michael shopping bag. And if you're like me and you hit Michael's like, good lord, once every at least a couple weeks, um, you should have plenty of shopping bags laying around, and you can make some really cool textures, make some great backgrounds. I mean, I try to use it just for backgrounds, but um, you know. Um, you can do all kinds of stuff with it and yeah obviously from the title this is another lifelines another lifelines you know surprisingly enough I mean you know I, I really like this series and I haven't seen anybody else do what I do in this regard um, with creating these lifelines paintings and and how I do it now before I get into that you'll notice that you know I'm dragging the paint the string across and it's catching and stuff that's because we have texture that's what you call texture kids um, so yeah and I like that it's rugged it's rough it's urban it's organic that's what we like um, but yeah you know surprisingly enough and, and as, m as many likes as I get and, and, and positive comments and I love every bit I love every bit of support I get um, I get a lot of positive comments on YouTube, probably the most. I think I get the most interactions with, with people on YouTube, which is great, and I love that. Um, but, you know, these things uh, aren't moving off the shelves like I thought they would, you know. I, I just listed a, uh, my select uh, few on my new site, and if you haven't been to my new website, please go check it out and let me know what you think. EmbraceTheMatrixArt.com basically the same as before except add art to the end of it and that's going to be my new website embrace the matrix art.com but yeah you know surprisingly enough uh you know more nobody's actually i've sold a few paintings but nobody's bought any of my lifelines it's unfortunate um i think they're awesome and especially this one this is kind of a new direction with colors i'm going in um more uh earth tones and organics and um yeah we let it dry between uh between layers of course but yeah surprisingly enough they haven't um you know maybe it's just not that appealing
but I don't know sometimes the colors I used were a little wild you know a lot of reds and blacks and stuff like that so I started to think maybe you know people don't have red and black interiors or interiors in their homes that would um, complement something like that now they're very cool and very unique and not to say that not everybody but I'm starting to look around and do a lot more research into like interior design and home decor and stuff like that because see I love to paint I love to create but you know I do want to sell paintings as well as a lot of people do some people maybe not you know they just want to paint and don't care if they sell but I, I, I would like to sell them um, primarily because uh, I'm running out of room <laughs> you know I have I at this point I have over 150 paintings and I literally have them everywhere I have them stacked up I have them on the walls everywhere and you know hey I'm fortunately fortunately I'm not looking as painting is to be my uh, you know uh, primary source of income I do run a business I've run a successful business in the foreclosure industry that I've had for over a decade that has allowed me to spend thousands of dollars I'm sure at this point on supplies and paint stuff and whatever and I haven't made my money back but that's fine it's it's not about that really I mean I'm I'm hoping people understand my philosophy and my thought process behind my paintings um, and can get you know can can feel what I'm feeling um, it's it's been a you know 2016 was a fairly rough year and you know we, we're making through it, we're pushing through it and I just I don't mean rough like financially or anything like that but more much more emotionally it has been I mean yesterday alone we were out driving the wife and I and making a you know Costco run to pick up some uh, you know large uh, quantities of paper towels and broccoli and water and things of this sort oh that's my little my new little mini whisks I love my mini whisks oh yeah and this we're just we're just adding some colors and we're mixing up or we're customizing our own colors I'm gonna put a little bit of this and a little bit of that I think this is a little blue or green a little blep and then we're gonna we're gonna make some cool unique colors here and go on I put a lot of layers in this painting but um but yeah I was um we made, made a Costco run yesterday and I don't know if you're like me, but I mean, I, I don't have, both me and my wife and I, our parents are deceased, um, but um, we have, we have uh, siblings, we'll say, that we don't talk to by their own choice, not by our choice. We, they don't talk to us by their own choice, and I think ultimately it just comes down to jealousy, but we won't get into that. But the point of this is, you know, it's just, we started talking about it and stuff because, you know, I put it to you this way. My, my wife has two sisters, um, uh, left, you know, uh, her, their other sister passed away and their parents passed away. And I have a 20 month year old son that none of them have seen and they all live 10 minutes away. So that should pretty much tell you. And, and we've done nothing wrong. We're not. Uh, you know, mean or vindictive people or anything like that. And, uh, we're actually pretty cool and easygoing. Um, it's, let me put it this way. Let me put it to you another way. It's pretty sad when you're when your banker <laughs> at the U.S. bank or you know at the at the local bank knows you better than say family. Um, but anyways, I digress. So anyways, we were driving, uh, you know, on our way back from Costco and stuff, and. Yeah, I mean, you know, we, we had we had been discussing some family shit, and I had a horrible panic attack, um, and it came on super quick. Um, that was that was the real gooch for me, was it just came on quick, and thankfully I had a Xanax handy, which is my go-to for when stuff gets crazy, when my anxiety gets ramped up, and you know, of course, I didn't get settled down till, you know after I'd gotten home and stuff like that but you know I had a pretty good sized panic attack uh, yesterday and I actually went to making this voiceover um, you know after we came home and ate and everything and, and all that so um, 
Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, I still struggled every single day. Although I'm medicated, um, I struggle every day with uh, my mental health issues. Um, oh, and not, just to sidetrack a little, I'm doing a wet on wet layer here. These different colors I'm mixing up, I'm just going for it, wet on wet. Usually I let them dry, but, you know, again, like you all should know by now, I like spontaneity. Spontaneity, so we're just kind of going up. But, um, but anyways, yeah, so... And that's the other thing too, I, I've decided to donate 10% uh, of every uh, uh, 10% of every online sale. Uh, so, you know, I'm really trying to push my stuff online. Um, and yeah, 10% of every online sale I'm donating to NAMI, with this, which is the National Alliance of Mental Illness. Uh, I believe that's what it stands for. Um, but you can check it out. They have locations and branches in, in most states if not all, but it's uh, the NAMI organization, and I'm going to be donating 10% of every single online sale to that. It might go up, but I got to start somewhere, and I'm just starting at 10%. I think that's fair. Uh, again, you know, I'm not looking to, ultimately, I would like to be a full-time artist. That, that's Obviously, that's my goal. Um, I do have, thankfully, another source of income. It's just not my passion. This is my passion. Being creative is my passion. I love playing music and creating music, and I love creating and making different kinds of art. Um, and if you followed me on any level, and maybe I haven't gone deep enough, but I, I have another voiceovers about the philosophies and my thought process behind the Lifelines series, and you know what it means to me and how I feel when I'm doing them. Um, basically, I, I set up in an interview recently that I should be part of. I'm not going to say much more than that, but we're going to see to what extent my, of my involvement I get uh, in um, a magazine article. Um, but I paint at night. So, you know, I deal with my work all day and, and business and the kid and employees and all that. And then at the end of the day is after the kid goes to sleep and generally the wife goes to sleep and half the neighborhood goes to sleep. Well, I go down in the basement. And basically, I, like I said, uh, said before, and it's it's been posted, is that I I'm just I'm emptying out my mind on canvas on the canvas. So a lot of times there's no uh, predetermination of what I'm going to do. I just kind of go down there and go, okay, I have a plethora of blank canvases. I have plethoras of paint and you know uh, tools and stuff. Let's let's get creative and let's see what we can do. So there's not, you know, sometimes I have an idea, but for the most part, it's very spontaneous. But that's what it is. It's just me emptying my, emptying my mind on the canvas. And what comes out, comes out. Sometimes it's a lifeline. Sometimes it's fluid. I'm kind of focusing on fluid paintings and lifelines paintings um, going forward. But I really, to be honest with you, I really want to know. If you ever commented on a video, and if you actually made it this far in this video with this voiceover... I'd love to know what you think about these colors because I, you know, I'm looking to really market my stuff to anybody, but primarily people looking to put some really nice and unique looking art in their homes, their businesses, or uh, restaurants, or wherever. Um, so, you know, I, I'm, I, I've made a lot of like colors that I like, and you know what? I've never worked with burnt sienna and and raw umber until really this painting you know not to this extent and i'll be honest i really like it i like the earthy tones i like the organicness of it um the look of it i'm working on some other stuff uh that's in the same um you know the color scheme but i really want to know what y'all think i mean I'm, I'm honest i really want feedback and i've had some great feedback on youtube mostly positive so it's a little bit of negative but i, I love it I, I i want constructive criticism i want people that watch this stuff and and actually make it through a, a video like this where i speak for 20 or so minutes and want to know what you think i mean i really want to know whether you're just an admirer a fan an actual collector or even more so another artist i'd absolutely love to know what you think and and how i do things and and my style and like i said i've had some really cool uh, feedback and some some great positive feedback but um i because i'm trying some different colors and some different um you know palettes 
I really want to know what y'all think. So please do not hesitate to comment on it. I'll obviously be posting this all over the place. And I wanted to really get this one out before the end of the year because, you know, for one, I've been sitting on this one for a while. This one's been done. I've been working on it. It took me probably three plus weeks, you know, because I don't just do one painting. I tend to dabble in a few at a time and put them down and pick them up and paint over them completely. I just painted over a couple recently that turned out awesome. And, I, you know, a couple I didn't even have video for. So, you know, they'll be exclusive. Unfortunately, no video. But, hey, you know, that makes it even that much more special. I always thought that making a creation video for all my paintings was a great idea. Because if you do fall in love with a painting, which I hope you fall in love with at least one of them, that you can see how it came to be. So, yeah. So... I hope you guys are really uh, looking forward to 2017. I am in a lot of different ways. Uh, my kid will be two in April, which will be cool. Uh, two-year-old, he's already the size of a three-year-old. Uh, plus, he's almost in 4T, and he's like 37 inches tall and 35 pounds, and he's like built like a brick. You know, he's not like a little little butterball or nothing he's actually built like a solid brick which is insane he's extremely strong and he's very independent and actually very very smart and we love him very much he's pretty awesome um and of course we're trying to get him to become somewhat creative he's made a few real true abstract art crayon drawings uh, which are pretty cool um, but i'm keeping those to myself um, but i'm definitely going to have some competition out there uh, as he gets older so, yeah, do you see what I'm saying? I mean, it's hard to see in these videos, too, man. I gotta be honest, man, woman, whatever you are, uh, animal, mineral. Um, but when I have it sitting here, too, and in, in my office, and I'm looking over at it, and I'm like, man, it looks so awesome in person. It, I mean, it, I, I, the way I, I alternated, al alternated, alternated, is that, that sometimes words don't sound like right, but alternated the colors, I mean, it looks like it's like, like coming out of the bottom just like uh i don't know just like a sunshine or something i don't know it's weird but um yeah and of course you know with all my lifelines i usually make one line different than the rest and this is that it's a black line i didn't have any other black in this painting and oh we love black so we had to throw a black line in Hmm, how about that? People think I'm a racist? Not. Nah, nah, I'm not kidding. I'm not a racist. Um, just kidding. Don't start hating. Um, all lives matter. Just remember that. But yeah, here's... I got a bunch of close-ups. Um, this is obviously the texture and things. I'm showing you what, you know, you make this cool little thing with a shopping bag. Who would have thunk it, you know? Um, but yeah, you can really do some cool things with a shopping bag. Uh... Besides, try to suffocate yourself. Um, but yeah, here's some more, you know, great uh, zoom, zoom, zoom. You know, some nice close-ups. And you know, yeah, I mean, this was a Lifelines one. To be honest with you, I don't, I'm, I don't even have the title of it yet. So I haven't thought of uh, a true title true for this painting. Um, I'll have it figured out before I post the video. It's obviously a Lifelines, but. Um, we're going to add a little uh, a little bit extra in there or something. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's crazy. It's Friday. It's New Year's Eve Eve. Uh, I hope you all stay safe out there tomorrow night. If you go out and party, I don't. I was just talking to somebody and telling them I haven't been out to party on New Year's Eve in probably over two decades. <laughs> um, and, yeah, because uh, I don't uh, partake and that and there's i'm more always more concerned with the people out in public um but look at that shit now we're not done yet but check it out that's pretty dope um but here we go now you're gonna see the finals of final but damn pretty cool looks a lot better in person and it would look a lot better on your wall please go to bracematrixart.com and it will be up there shortly for sale and you will purchase it and you will love it and you will be happy let's all be happy We'll see you in the next video. Peace.